Rick Weaver with Lou Pickmer and Henry Barrow back at a jam-packed, sunny Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City, Missouri. Waiting for the opening kickoff of the 1972 season opener. We are waiting for the official whistle at Santa Rose. Boys is put his hands on his hips. Now he gets the whistle. Here we go. He's forward. He gets the throw into it. It's off down the near side. And bounces into the end zone, out of the end zone. No run back. A touch back. And the Dolphins will bring it out and put it in play at our 20 yard line. So setting the offense for Miami for you. Warfield and Briscoe, the wide receivers. The tight end, Mark Winning. Who's the quarterback? Horace and Bronco, the running back. The linemen, Moore and Evans, the tackles. Kutzenberg and Little Madars and Langer at center. Defensively, for the Keith, Upshaw, Culp, Buchanan, and Brown across the front line. Bell, Lanier, and Lynch, the linebackers. Mar Marcellus and Thomas, the quarterbacks, and Reardon, and Tony are the safety. All right, we've got a third down 11. Miami falls at our 30 yard line. Morris has been the principal carrier so far. Kick is a slot man right. Briscoe splits to the near side. Warfield out to the far side. Greasy on third and 11. He talks the throw. The ball is knocked out up the line of Timmy by Marvin Upshaw, the defensive left end. So we get the punting situation on fourth down. The line of scrimmage, the Dolphins 30, Larry Seipel with a 40.1 average last year, stands back at the Dolphins 15-yard line. The Dolphins unable to move the football against the Chiefs. Here is the punt. He gets the beauty out of there. Nice high spiral. Hangs it up. It is grabbed by Marshall. Back at the Chiefs 28. He gets to the 30, the 31, to the 32, and he gang tackle there, swarmed over by white jersey. And Curtis Johnson was the first man down. On the Dolphins, thankfully, came to make the stop. They put it at the 31, a return of three yards. Setting the Chiefs for you offensively now, Elmo Wright, number 17, and Otis Taylor, 89, of the wide receivers. Morris Stroud, 88, is the tight end. Lenny Dawson, 16, the quarterback. Total act number 14, and Wendell Hayes, 38, of the running back. Interior line, Tyrer and Hill of the tackles. Buddy and Moorman, the guards, and Rudney is the center. We'll set the Dolphins defense for you in just a moment. Elmo Wright and Otis Taylor. Our split double wide receivers off to the far side. In the eye, Podolak and Hayes, and behind Dawson. Chiefs ball, first down from the 31-yard line. Here comes Podolak in motion, left side. Hand off to Hayes, inside, and he's cracked and dropped at the 32-yard line. Nick Bonacani put the shoulder into him and upended him after a gain of a yard. Dolphins defense, Vern Denherter, number 83, Bill Stansell, 84. Of the uh, defensive end, Manny Fernandez, 75. Jim Dunaway, 78 of the tackles. Left to right, linebackers, strong side, 59, Doug Swift. In the middle, Bonacati, number 85. On the weak side, 57, Mike Cullen. The cornerbacks are Tim Foley, 25, Curtis Johnson, 45. And the safeties are Jake Scott, 13, and Dick Anderson, number 40. Second down to nine. Chiefs ball at their 32-yard line. Dawson drops to throw his first pass. Fake right, throws left. Green, Hayes got it, 30, 35, lose the tackler, 40, up the near side, 45, and out of bounds. At the 50-yard line is Wendell Hayes. 18 yards as Dawson pumped right and threw the screen to the near side. And they pick up a first down. The ball is just inside the Kansas City side of the 50. We'll call it their 49-yard line. The linesman moves the ball up to the 50-yard line, so that's where they'll begin this sequence from. They set in a triple eye, a full house backfield. Taylor split right. And Elmo right to the near side. Now Stroud moves out of the uh, full house and moves to the tight end spot to the right side. Here's the handoff. Podolak drudges way through the middle. The ball, Dolphins have got it. It's still loose at the 43 of Dolphin territory. Miami recovers. Podolak was really split. And Jake Scott gobbled up that wet watermelon seed, which bounced around a couple of times. So the Dolphins take some momentum away from the team on a recovered fumble. And uh, the Dolphins have it with a first down at our 43-yard line. There is the first turnover of the ball game. Rick, I talked about a motion. Something like this could really turn on this Miami team right now. All right, Warfield puts to the far side. Briscoe to the near side. Mercury Morris is back in with Bronca as the split back behind Greasy. He was 0 for 2 in the forward passing department thus far. From the Dolphins, 43. Long count at the line of scrimmage. Hand off. Bronca, big hole in the middle across the 50 into KC territory. Down at the 48-yard line by Willie Lanier. Number 63, the six-year veteran from Morgan State, the middle linebacker. Ball is down at the Kansas City 48, the Dolphins' first penetration of the afternoon. Greasy hands to, to Morris, fumble on the ball, and it's loose. Dolphins are, have recovered. Upfield at the 35-yard line. That was another hot potato. Morris never did have, have the handle on that football as he hit the hole on the left side. The ball squirted ahead, and the fellow who fell on it was the tight end, Mark Fleming. So the Dolphins pick up a first down as the Chiefs had their hands on it, couldn't hold it loose on the turf. 
And Fleming comes up with a recovered fumble. First down, Dolphins at the Chiefs 35. Henry? Rick, uh, what we wanted to tell you was that the Dolphin offensive line, uh, when they were on the bench, was meeting with the backs and the coaches this time to work out those holes. All right, Warfield split left. Let's go to the near side. Morris and Donka split in behind Greasy. First down from the Chiefs 35-yard line. Greasy. The line of scrimmage. Hands to Zonka. Follows power blocking over the left side and gets about four. Down to the 31-yard line. Put the ball at the 32. It'll be second down and seven. Greasy hands to Zonk. Wait to the left. Gets the corner turn. 20. 25. Down to the 24 and out of bounds on the far side of the field. Those Larry Zonka, Curly Culp pursuing on the play. Got Zonka, but not before he gets the first down at the Chiefs 24-yard line. Zonka's slot man right, Briscoe slip right, Warfield to the far side. Here's Greasy on first down, back to throw, fires. It is caught by Briscoe inside the 10, and he's down at the 9-yard line. Briscoe on a post pattern for the near side high spark, came down, hooked into the middle, caught the ball, and was down immediately at the Chiefs 9-yard line. 8 minutes, 45 seconds left to go in this first quarter. No score, but Greasy has the ball club on the move. Briscoe puts left, Warfield sets as a slot man left. Along with Mercury Morris, Zonka in behind Greasy. First and goal from the Chiefs' nine-yard line. Greasy up under center, marks those signals, hands off to Zonka. He is going to be caught behind the line of scrimmage on a flick by Jim Lynch from the right side linebacker spot and has dropped back at about the 14-yard line. Lynch was flipping from the right side that time and just overpowered the blocker and grabbed Zonka around one leg and rode him to the turf for a five-yard loss back at the 14. There's nothing a blocker can do on a play like that. Tuchenberg came out, and there was no way that he could get to Lynch. Lynch completely beat him. He didn't figure on he was going to shoot any gap. Second down and goal. Dolphins fall at the Chiefs' 14-yard line. Dolphins moving toward the east end zone to our right. Warfield splits left. Briscoe to the near side. Morris and Zonka, the split backs in behind Greasy. Waiting for the snap from center. Up. Drops the throw, now rolls out to his right. He is looking. He fires in the end zone for Briscoe. Touchdown, Dolphins! Briscoe got inside. Sent the ball, the 350, right down here in the corner, and Greasy hit him with a perfect pass. And the Dolphins draw first blood. That a 14-yard touchdown pass from Bob Greasy, his first of the season. He led the league in touchdown passes last year with a total of 19. And the Dolphins have marched from our 43-yard line, a 56-yard drive in seven plays. Earl Morrow will hold, and Yepremian will try the points from placement. 7.38 left to go in the first quarter. This drive key by that recovered fumble by Jake Scott. Here's the snap, set down, the kick is up, and it is perfect. Seven minutes, 38 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Dolphin football action continues from Kansas City with a score, the Dolphins seven, and the Chiefs nothing. In behind Dawson are Hayes and Podolak, second and nine. Here's the fake draw play in the middle. Podolak, a big hole, 25, 30, breaks out, try, 35, 40. Curtis Johnson rides him down at the Chiefs' 45-yard line. Great trap blocking up front, 44 yards for Podolak. Let's check that and make it uh, 24 yards. I couldn't read statisticians uh, writing 24 yards total act breaks one for a first down up to the Chiefs 46 a third down and 20 situation for the Chiefs the ball up their 46 yard line we have two minutes 55 seconds to go in the first quarter here is Dawson hands off on the draw total act through the middle at the 50 cuts to the left he is hit and ridden to the ground that's the Dolphins 47 yard line by Dick Anderson who got his head and shoulder right into the breadbasket of Mr. Podolak and drove him in to the turf. He gets up to the 47-yard line. That is not nearly enough for a first down, so center road comes in for a field goal attempt. The ball is at the Dolphin 47, and this is going to be somewhere in the vicinity of a 54-yard attempt. He has kicked a 57-yarder during the preseason. Center road, a 54-yard attempt. The snap set down. The kick is blocked by the Dolphins, picked up by Dawson, and the Dolphins knock him down at the Chief 45-yard line, and that's where we will take over the football. Tim Foley is the man who got in there, and uh, Mumford is the guy who blocked it. Foley is the guy who made the tackle on uh, on Dawson to stop him and give the Dolphins the ball at the Chief 45. There is a timeout on the field. Dolphin football action continues in Kansas City with a score. Our Dolphins 7 and the Chiefs nothing. 
Rick Weaver, Lou Kleekler, Henry Barrow back at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. That block field goal attempt by Mumford. Foley drops Dawson at the Chiefs 45. Dolphins have the ball at that point. Let's get down to Henry Barrow. Our thermometer down here that we found says 120 degrees lying on this uh, surface here, and it's gotten to some of the defensive players. They have their heads wrapped in cold towels, and they're taking oxygen. The no-name defense has come through twice this far, blocking a field goal attempt and recovering a fumble. Greasy with excellent field position from the Chiefs 45. Morris and Zucker, the slipbacks, in behind Bob. Here's the fake handoff, drops the throw. He is firing deep, and it is caught by Will Field. He's out of bounds for the first down, down at the 26-yard line on the far side of the field, and Bob hit him with a strike. Then there is the gun, sounding the end of the first quarter of the ball game. That's the end of the first quarter. Dolphin action continues from Kansas City with a score. Our Dolphins 7 and the Chiefs nothing. Kick has come into the offensive backfield. Let's get down to Henry. We may not see Nick Bonacotti in the next time the defense uh, is on the field. He is really suffering from this heat, uh, and uh, they're working on him right now. All right, the ball at the Chiefs, 21-yard line. Dolphins lead by a score of 7 nothing. Second down and 12. Jim Kick will be at one of the running back spots, along with Larry Zonka. We call them in Miami, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Bob Greasy, the quarterback. Warfield and Briscoe, the wide receivers. Marv Fleming, the tight end. Kick and Zonka will be split back and behind Greasy. Second down and 12 from the Chiefs 21 as the Dolphins are now moving to our left toward the west end zone for this second quarter. Greasy drops the throw. Fires in the end zone for Warfield. It is knocked away and dropped. Did he intercept it? He did. Sensibar is the, uh, is the rule by the official that the pass was intercepted right at the goal line. He knocked the ball away from Warfield. Greasy on the snap rolled out to his left, lofted the ball for Warfield, and Sensabaugh played him perfectly. So the interception brings the ball out. And they knock, he, uh, he held onto the ball as he brought out at the 20 yard line. And it will be second down and nine. Chiefs football. At their 39 yard line, we have 13 minutes, 10 seconds to play before the end of the half. Dolphins out in front, 7 0. Dawson spins, play action, sprints back to his left, being pursued. He is caught and dropped by Bob Matheson. Matheson came foaming through there and just hand fought that blocker to death and rode Dawson to the ground back at the 29. A loss of 10 yards on the play. It'll be a third down coming up, and we'll call it about 19. They have to get the ball out to about the 48 and a half yard line to pick up the first down. The back guy or Hayes and Podolak. Dawson dropping the throw, swings the screen out. Podolak juggles it, holds on to the 30, 35, and it's contained at the 39. So they are about, they picked up about 10 yards on the pass completion and they needed 19, so they'll be forced into a punting situation. They'll call it six. They put it down at the 36 yard line. It'll be third down and about 15 for the Dolphins from our 36 yard line. Eight minutes, 36 seconds left to go in the first half. Dolphins with a third down and 15 from our 36-yard line. Greasy drops the throw. He fires. It is caught by Fleming. The same pattern rolling to the near side. A loose attack at the 40, 45, at the 50, going for the first down, and he didn't make it. I don't believe he made it. Marv was looking for that marker, and he gave it a great shot. But Willie Lanier refused to let go. That was the same pattern to the near side of the tight end Fleming, and he picked up good yardage, but we needed about 15, and let's see where they're going to mark the ball. It'll be a fourth down coming up, and here comes your premium. Here comes Garrow's field goal unit, Morrill in the hole, and this will be a 57-yard attempt, if indeed it is a field goal attempt. Snap, set down. The kick is up. It is going to be a little bit low, grabbed under the goal post by Marshall out to the 5, 10, 15 to the 20, and he is hit and dropped right at the 20-yard line, and the Dolphins are caught hitting after the whistle, and a flag is thrown. The Premian 57-yard field goal attempt, short underneath the crossbar. Marshall ran it out to the 20, 20-yard return, and he was cracked after the uh, play was dead. So the 15-yard penalty puts the ball out. They put it down at the Chiefs 36-yard line. Kendrick just couldn't stop on that play, Rick, and he's the one that brought about the penalty. All right, we got the timeout on the field with 7.33 to go in the half. Dolphin football action continues from Kansas City with a score. The Dolphins 7, the Chiefs nothing. And it'll now be a third down and 11, and this could change the strategy just a bit. Bob Matheson comes back in for the Dolphins, replaces Dunaway. Hayes and Podolak flip back in behind Len Dawson. He has to get the ball out to the 46. Here is a handoff to Hayes, sweep to the right side. He gets to the 35 and is dragged down at the 36-yard line. Coming for the near side. 
And the fans began to boo Dawson on the play call for the third down and 11. Tackled by Den Herter and Bonacati for the Dolphins. So this forces a punting situation. And it'll be a third down coming up at about 16. Maybe 16 and a half for the Dolphins. The ball at their 17-yard line. This has been a defensive struggle, and the Chiefs have committed one more error than have the Dolphins, and that's the difference in the ball game. On third and 16, here is the handoff. Mercury Morris, sweep to the left, gets the block, 20, turns the corner, and out to the 24. He's rolled out of bounds along the near side of the field. Morris is driven out of bounds by strong safety Jim Kearney, and that is not enough for a first down, so the Dolphins will have to punt. And this crowd of 80,000 plus standing room only have had not had too much to cheer about this afternoon. The only score, Dolphins 53-yard drive following a fumble recovery by Jake Scott. And so Dawson still does not get the operating room that he would like to try to move this football team. Two minutes and 14 seconds left to go before the end of the half. Dolphins lead by a score of 7-0. It'll be third down and 19 from the Chiefs 20-yard line. They have to get the ball out to the uh, 39-yard line. Elmo Wright splits left. Otis Taylor to the near side. Now Stroud puts off the uh, right tackle a couple of yards. Dawson up under center waiting for the snap. He spins, hands to Podolak, sweeps to the left side. He gets across the 20 and is knocked down at about the 23-yard line. Ed Podolak and the fans are booing on the play call selection. All right, there's the two-minute warning. Dolphin football action continues from Kansas City with a score. The Dolphins 7, the Chiefs nothing. Rick Weaver back at uh, Arrowhead in Kansas City ready to describe the action on Wilson's potty standing back at about the 8-yard line. Line of scrimmage to Kansas City, 24. Charlie Lee deep to Anderson Shallow to field the punt. He gets it out of there and he... Uh, Gets off a nice high spiral. There'll be a run back. Lee from the 28, 30 up the near side, 35, 40, and is ridden out of bounds at the Dolphins' 44-yard line. Charlie Lee with uh, about a 16-yard return. So the Dolphins will start from our 44-yard line with uh, a minute and 50 seconds to play in the half. We see the quarterback, Morris and Zonka, the running back, Briscoe and Warfield, the wide receivers. Bar Fleming, the tight side end. Zonka and Morris set in the eye. Behind Greasy, first down Dolphins from our 44-yard line. Dolphins lead 7-0. Waiting for the snap from center is Greasy. He hands off Zonka, trap over the middle, across the 50, down to about the 46-yard line. Rams, Larry Zonka. Zonka and Morris, Greasy to throw on second down, looking to the left side. He flips it out to Morris. He's got it at the 40 and runs it out of bounds at the Kansas City 39-yard line. So that's good for a first down. They put it down at the Kansas City 40-yard line. Morris and Zonka in the backfield. Greasy throwing out to Briscoe, and he can't hold on to it. Ball went through his hands and bounced off his shoulder pad. So the incompletion stops the clock with a minute and 13 left to play in the first half. Dolphins with a second down and 10 from the Kansas City 40-yard line, moving from our right to our left. Second and 10, Dolphins from the Chiefs 40-yard line. Briscoe and Warfield both split to the right. Greasy sprinting back out to his right. He sets the fire. He can hit Warfield, and he can't hold on to the ball. And the ball hit him in the hands and bounced away at the 32-yard line for an incompletion. And a minute and nine seconds left to play in the half. Third and ten from the Chiefs 40. Bob drops the throw, swings the screen out, deflected at the line of scrimmage, was intended for Zonka. And Wilbur Young from the defensive left end on the rush got his hands up in the air and uh, Greasy's pass hit his hands, drops to the ground harmlessly for an incompletion. So your premium field goal team is in. This will be a 47-yard attempt. Morrow will hold from the near side inbound hash mark. 47 yards for Gerald. Waiting for the snap. Here it is, set down. The kick is up. He's got the distance this time. It's perfect. Yepremian, 47 yards with 59 seconds left to play in the first half. And the Dolphins have now moved out to a 10 to nothing lead. That drive, 56 yards in six plays with Yepremian kicking a 47 yard field goal. Gerald just came off the sideline here. Rick with a smile from ear to ear. I'm sure he wanted to get one against Kansas City today. I don't think anybody expected this unless it would be the Dolphins team <clears throat> at this stage of the ball game to have shut out the Chiefs 10 to nothing. All right, waiting for the official's whistle for your premium kickoff. Here it is. He comes forward, gets the toe into it, hooks it down the right side. Marshall in the end zone about four yards out to the 5, 10, 15, the 20. And he is really cracked at the 23. The ball at the Chiefs 23 in their two-minute offense, no huddle. Taylor splits to the near side, right to the far side. Here is Dawson dropping the throw on play action. He fires. It is intercepted, I believe, by the Dolphins at the 40-yard line. And the man who got it, Jake Scott, 
fell to the ground. He had to dive forward to get his hands on the football. And Dawson having a miserable first half. And Scott comes up with the ball on the interception. And uh, he dove for it. And just laid on the ground at the 40-yard line. So Scott, who had a total of seven interceptions last year, comes up with his first of this campaign. And the Dolphins call a timeout to stop the clock with 43 seconds left to go in the half. The ball is at the Chiefs' 40-yard line. Dawson has had very little success with his passing game. And the Dolphins have been able to stop the running attack thus far in the first half. Briscoe splits far side. Warfield to the near side. Morris, Zonka, the split back in behind Greasy. From the Chiefs' 40, Bob drops the throw. He fires. Caught by Warfield. Eludes the tackler. 20, 15, down to the 10-yard line goes Paul Warfield. That deep slant over the middle that President Nixon likes so well. 30 yards on the completion. Greasy to Warfield, and he got inside that time and gave a hip to a potential tackler and picked up an additional 10 yards. So the Dolphins have a first down. Down at the 10-yard line and use up their second timeout to stop the clock with 35 seconds going left in the half. Rick, both those lines are tied, the offensive and the defensive line, but I'll tell you, that offensive line of Miami's is really giving Bob Greasy the time. They're keeping those big mooses out. I mean, you try to keep out a guy like this young, keep out a guy like Buchanan, and cult for a full half in this heat. They've done a great job. Ball just outside the Chiefs' 10-yard line is Greasy. Hands off, Morris cuts outside to the left, he's down to the five, the four, the three, the two. He did not get in. He's knocked out of the out of bounds right at the flag at the one-yard line. Down here in the near corner, Willie Lanier is the fellow who chased him out, along with Upshaw. And he rambles for nine yards. It'll be a second down. Let's see where they put the ball down. And the Dolphins immediately call a timeout, using up their timeouts to stop the clock. 25 seconds left in the half. Jim Maddich has come in to replace Marlon Briscoe, the two tight ends, the short yardage power blocking unit. Now in, the Dolphins have a second down and uh, a situation at the one yard line. They could still make a first down here. Greasy looks everything over very carefully, sets his ball club on the snap, hands to Zonka, puts his head down. He is in for the touchdown. Zonka sliding over the left side, gets the score, and Yapremian comes in to try the point for placement with uh, 22 seconds left to go in the first half. That drives 40 yards in just three plays. The big one, a 30-yard pass completion in the middle from Greasy to Warfield, which gave the Dolphins that great field position at the 10. Rick, after Zonka went over on that play, you could just see Senzaba and Lynch looking at each other, saying, how could he possibly drag us across that goal line the way he did? Larry so just dragged him right over. Zonka had seven touchdowns last year, gets his first one. Morrow waits for the snap, sets it down. The premium kick is up. And it is perfect. There are 22 seconds showing on the clock. The score is 17 to nothing. And the Dolphins defense, along with giving the Dolphin offense excellent field position, has to be the dominant factor in this ball game so far. And this no-name defense for the Dolphins really has taken a toll this afternoon. A big factor in this ball game also has to be the heat. And I would say right now that from all appearances from our vantage point that it's affecting the Chiefs more than it has affected the Dolphins. 90 degrees up here and at least 120 down on this tartan turf surface. All right, we're ready to go as time is back in with seven to nine seconds left to go in the first half. Chiefs with a first down at their 35 yard line. On the play action, here uh, he's running back to throw, complete the screen to Podlack, back to 28, gets the block 30, 35 up the near sideline, knocked out of bounds at the 40 yard line, and there was no time showing on the board. He did a beautiful bit of faking that time and had to turn out to his right, completed the screen, and the chief fans are booing, as you can hear in the background, both separately. That's the end of the first half with the score. Our Dolphins 17, Kansas City nothing. 17 nothing, as the Dolphins will kick off, defend the East goal to our right for the third quarter. And Yepremian has it all up on the tee. The Dolphins with a 17 to nothing lead. Shadows beginning to cast uh, their presence across the field. But I don't believe it's cooled off any uh, from the humidity standpoint. Podolak deep down the near side. Marshall deep off to the far side. Dolphins trying to protect this lead now and get some more. Here's the whistle. Yepremian gets the ball high. It's deep way back in the end zone. Marshall follows the ball around and downs it for the touchback, no return, and so the Chiefs will start from their 20-yard line. It is a third down and seven situation for the Chiefs from their 23. Elmo Wright puts to the far side. Otis Taylor to the near side. Here is Dawson dropping straight back this time. Fake right, throws left, screen, Hayes got it back to 20. 
25, cuts to his left, 30, 35. Jake Scott brings it down up about the 40-yard line. A great run and some great screen blocking out in front for Wendell Hayes. As he picked up the first down, a 16-yard pass completion, including the run, up to the Chiefs' 40-yard line. Second down and 10 for the Chiefs. The ball up their 41-yard line. 12 minutes, 58 seconds to play in the third quarter. Dolphins with a 17 and nothing lead. Elbow right, foot left. Taylor to the near side. Here is Dawson dropping to throw again. It's a pretty good rush. Fires the middle. It is knocked away. Picked off by Mike Cohen at the 40, 45, 50. Across the 45 in the Chiefs' territory and knocked down at the 43-yard line. Taylor was really rappy cack back there. And the ball bounced off his fingertips. And Cohen, on his drop from the linebacker spot, picked it off back at the Dolphins' 40 and returns it to the team 43-yard line. Jack Rudney and Wendell Hayes had to make the tackle on the play. So the Dolphins come up with a second big defense, defensive play this afternoon, actually a third one, a second big interception. Linebacker Mike Cullen, third-year man from Auburn. So the uh, offense, again, has excellent field position. First down at the team 43-yard line. Waiting for the snap as Morris and Zonka are in the eye. Behind Greasy. Greasy, a long count. At the line of scrimmage on the snap. Hands to Zonka, plants across the right side. Flips and falls at the 40, gets up and rambles for a couple more yards to about the 38-yard line. A tackle made by cornerback Jim Marcellus. A second and five, Dolphins from the 38-yard line in Chiefs territory. Hand off to Morris, stutter step through a hole on the left side, gets inside the 40, the second to 35. Third and one for the Dolphins at the Chiefs 34-yard line. Dolphins off Mike Cohen's pass interception, moving from our right to our left. Zonka and Kick are the split backs. In behind Greasy, the Chiefs charge off the long count and flags go down before the ball is snapped. Greasy will stagger that count as he has done throughout his career. So the Dolphins pick up a first down on the penalty and Briscoe comes back in. First down from the Chiefs 29. Greasy hands off to Zonka, finds a hole on the right side, cuts back to his left inside the 25. Down to about the 22-yard line. On a second and three, the ball at the Chiefs 22-yard line. Greasy hands to Zonka, sweep to the right side, gets the corner turn. He has got the first down out of bounds on the far side of the field at about the 16-yard line. Rolled out over there by linebacker Bobby Bell, 10-year veteran from the University of Minnesota. So the Dolphins continue to dominate the ball game. And they have taken momentum away, particularly uh, when Dawson appeared to ready to unload and trying to go deep. The defense again took over and have given the offense excellent field position and Greasy has marched the football team from the Chiefs 16-yard line. Here's the handoff. Kick hurdles the tackler. Gets inside the 15. Still digging down to about the 11-yard line. Greasy keeping the ball on the ground. Showing up uh, time here. We have 9.48 to play in the third quarter. Warfield splits left. Let's go to the far side. Kick and Zonka in an eye. Second and six from the Chiefs 12-yard line. Greasy up under center. Barks those signals. On the snap, hands to Zonka, draw play, puts his head down, rams the middle, gets inside. Might have gotten to the 10, maybe inside, but uh, they, they closed it in a hurry. Willie Lanier throw his 245 pounds in there. This is a big play right here. As the Dolphins want to keep control of the ball and get it into the end zone for six without having to settle for a field goal. Ball at the 10, third down and four. Greasy on the snap. Looks to throw, he's firing for Briscoe. He has got it at the five. Can he get around the defensive man? No, he is dragged down at about the seven-yard line, and that's going to be shy of a first down, depending on where they place the ball down. Tackle on the play made by Marcellus, who refused to give up. And so here comes the field goal team in. They put it down at the eight-yard line. They're two yards shy of what they needed for a first down. Waiting for the snap. Here it is, set down. The kick is up, and it's good. Perfect. Dolphins with 8.15 left to play in this third quarter. Dolphin football action continues from Kansas City, Missouri with a score. Our Dolphins, 20, and Kansas City, nothing. It'll be third down and three. The ball for the Chiefs at their 25-yard line. They got that full house backfield with a tight end back there. Dawson looks right, throws left. Right got it, gives a hook step to 30, and is tilted out of bounds at the 35-yard line on the far side of the field. That is good for a first down. We're in the third period with six minutes and 50 seconds left to go. The Dolphins... Out in front by a score of 20 to nothing. And this defense has been great. All right, we've got three wide receivers out this time. Here's Dawson spreading the defense. Completes a, an out pass to Podolak across the 40. And he gets out to about the 43-yard line. Second and one. Here's the handoff to Hayes. He barrels his way in across the left side and squirts through to the 48-yard line for the first down. Back to the Chiefs 49-yard line. And it's third down and eight. Ball back at the Chiefs 49. 
Clock moving with 4.22 left to go in his third quarter. Dropping straight back as Dawson gets a great rush. Fires the middle. It is caught by Otis Taylor at the 32-30. Down to the 27-yard line. Jake Scott made the tackle on the play, and Taylor carried him for a couple of yards. He's a big receiver, 6'3", 215, and the fans come to life. A great rush, and Dawson, under extreme pressure, got the pass away for Taylor, and the first down at the Dolphins, 27. But this is the most serious threat that the Chiefs have posed this afternoon. All right, the ball back to Dolphins, 33-yard line. A third down and 16. Right, left, and uh, Taylor to the near side. Back to throw. Goes Dawson. He sets up in the pocket. Going to scramble. Throws the ball. It is incomplete. He was dropped, hit around the ankles just he got the pass away. The ball was thrown into the ground. Hayes was an eligible receiver up there, but it was thrown into the ground. He had no chance to get the football. Vern Denherter is the man who got close. And so that forces a field goal situation. Dawson will hold for uh, center route. It'll be a 40-yard attempt. He'll be kicking to the west end. Two minutes exactly left to play in the third quarter. Dolphins lead 20-0. Waiting for the snap. John missed one earlier, 57 yards. Snap set down. He had one blocked, too. The kick is up. He's got the distance. It's good. So the Chiefs finally get on the board. With a minute 55 to go in the third quarter. Dolphin football action continues from Kansas City with a score. Our Dolphins 20 in Kansas City 3. A 40-yard field goal by center route, culminating an 82-yard drive in 12 plays. A minute 55 left to go in the third quarter. Dolphins lead 20 to 3. Here's Henry. This defense is boiling mad. They wanted a shutout, and they're upset. Greasy would not now like to get a long drive started and just play his type of ball game. Ball control, run, short pass, and uh, kind of lull him to sleep. Keep control of that football. Time becoming a factor now. There's the gun. That's the end of the third period. Dolphin football action will continue from Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City with a score. The Dolphins 20, Kansas City 3. Dolphins moving to our right toward the east end of the field for this final period. Leading 20 to 3. Greasy on the first play, hands to Morris, sweeps to the left behind middle, gets the corner turn, 40, 45, Austin on the 50, and down in the Chiefs territory, out of bounds at the 45-yard line. Goes Mercury Morris, and Larry Little is the man who sprung him loose and allowed him to turn the corner, Mike Sensabaugh, the three safety, makes the tackle, and Morris gets the first down, back in the Chiefs territory at the 45. This Dolphin offense, along with the defense, has been great this afternoon, just a real championship, well-prepared effort. 13-31, left to go in the ball game. Dolphins with the football, a third down and eight situation from the Chiefs, 43. Greasy on the snap, drops the throw. He's firing for Waterfield down the far side, knocked away by Emma Thomas, who had him covered like a blanket at about the 23-yard line. Greasy had uh, no reservations about where he was going to throw that time, hit Waterfield on the fly down the sideline, and Thomas stayed with him. Yepremian with a couple of field goals, one of 47 yards already. This one from 57 and has another at 15. This is a 50-yard attempt. Snap, set down. Kick is up. He's got the distance. And it is, it is short. In the end zone at the goal line, taken by Marshall out across the 10 to the 15, knocked down at the 17. Garrow, that snap was a little bit high, and Morrow had to take it down a little bit. 17-yard return by Marshall. And so the Chiefs will try to put the ball uh, in motion and get a score out of this. Officials call a timeout with 13-11 to play. Dolphin football action continues from Kansas City with a score. The Dolphins 20 and the Chiefs 3. All right, ready to go. Chiefs ball up their 18. Dawson on first down. Play action. Fakes the handoff. Going to be hit. Fires the pass. The 40 fumbles the ball. And I believe the Dolphins have got it at the Chiefs 42. If they rule it, they do. They rule it a completed forward pass and a recovered fumble. And Taylor was really cracked. Lost the ball. And Jake Scott again comes up with it for the Dolphins. What started out to be good field position. Uh, the Chiefs 42 and penalties have set us back here and the Chiefs certainly will elect to take this one instead of a third down and 25 it'll be a third down and 40 the ball all the way back to the Dolphins 28 yard line Greasy up under center hands to Morris sweep to the left side turns the corner he's at the 30 yard line and ridden out of bounds on the far side of the field at about the 33 or the 34 by Willie Lanier and safety man Mike Sensabaugh Stiple will stand back at the Dolphins' 18-yard line. 10 minutes, 25 seconds to go. Dolphins with a 20-3 to lead. Here's the snap a little bit high. He gets a good rush. He gets off a short, wobbly kick. It'll bounce. Touched by a Dolphin. Chiefs come up with excellent field position. A first down at their 44-yard line. 10-15 left to go. Dolphin football action continues. In just a minute, the score are Dolphins 20 and the Chiefs 3. Dolphins have not permitted Dawson to throw long. Third down and 11. The ball at the Dolphins' 46-yard line. 9 minutes, 18 seconds going on the board. Left to play. 
Dolphins lead 20 to 3. Here's Dawson, third down, dropping straight back to throw. He's set. Now he's going to be rushed. He is caught and thrown for a last back of the Chiefs 40 yard line. And the guy who got him is Vern Denherter, the big second year defensive end from Central of Iowa. 6'6 and 250. And Dawson, and put it down back at the Chiefs 41. A loss of 12 yards as this Dolphin pass rush has been great. Henry? You don't really expect to see the uh, defense get the quarterback when they've got five defensive backs in it either. All right, Gerald Wilson in the punt now on fourth down. He'll stand back at the Chiefs 25. The line of scrimmage is the Chiefs 41. Charlie Lee and Dick Anderson back. Lee, the deep man, back at the 10-yard line. Here is the snap to Wilson. He has time. He bones a tremendously high and long spiral. It goes back into the end zone, out of the end zone for the touchback. So the Dolphins will strike and hope to hold on to the football and perhaps get into the end zone again on their 20-yard line. There is a timeout on the field with 9.05 left to play. Dolphin football action will continue in a minute. The score are Dolphins 20 and Kansas City 3. As far as the Dolphins are concerned, ball control. Time and ball control are the big factors now for Miami. Dolphins who came to play. And the Chiefs were favorites, but we have the lead here, 20 to 3. This has not been a replay, anything but of that great ball game at Christmas last year here. The Dolphins have been in command. To be third down and eight. Dolphins ball at our 22-yard line. We're inside the eight-minute mark now. Seven minutes and 56 seconds left to go. Third down and eight. Dolphins from our 22-yard line. Here's the handoff. Gronka, big hole. He's across the 30. Runs over a tackler at the 35 and is out to the 39-yard line. Holy Toledo, what a hole they had for him that time. Mike Sensabaugh and Jim Kearney make the stop on the play, but big Gronk rambles. Seven minutes, 12 seconds left to play. The Dolphins have... Maintain control of the football. They put the ball down at the 50. The Dolphins ball control now beginning to pay off. The first down is achieved. We have good field position at the 50-yard line. Ready to go. Greasy up on their center. Zonka and kick in the eye. Here's the handoff. Trap. Zonka hits the middle. Bounces off. Tacklers. 45. 40. Inside the 40. Down to the 37-yard line. Goes the human battering ram. Larry Zonka, the five-year veteran who plays hurt, who plays well, but always plays sensationally. Mike Sensabaugh makes the tackle on the play. That is good for another Dolphin first down, and Otto Stowe, the second-year veteran from Iowa State. The Dolphins' biggest wide receiver comes in, replaces Warfield. Third down, 12. Dolphins ball at the Chiefs, 39. 3.30 left to go. Dolphins lead 20 to 3. Half this stadium, which was filled to 80,000 today, has emptied. So splits left. Lily to the near side. Kick and Zonka in behind Greasy from the Chiefs, 39. Here's the handoff. Connor play. Zonka booms his way through the left side and gets to the 36. The gain of about three before Aaron Brown. A defensive right end makes the tackle, and here comes the uh, Garrow field goal team on. Morrow will hold. It'll be a 43-yard attempt. Snap set down. The kick is up. He has the distance, and it's no good. He hooked it off to the right side. So Garrow, very disgusted with himself. That 43-yard field goal attempt, no good, off to the right side, and the Chiefs will fall at their 20-yard line with two minutes and 41 seconds left to go. And it has not been an auspicious debut for this Kansas City team. It has been for the Dolphins. And it has been in an area where there has been a lot of concern, and that's defense, particularly pass defense and rushing the passer. We have gotten to Dawson uh, unofficially three times this afternoon. So it's been a very pleasant way to open the season for our Miami Ball Club. We have word that Larry Zonka unofficially has rushed for 100 yards or over, and this is the seventh time in his career. And that's quite an accomplishment against one of the great defensive units in football. All right, the Chiefs ready to go to work with 2.41 to play. They trail 20 to 3. Wright and uh, Taylor are split off the right side. Here's Dawson faking the uh, handoff. Tries to pass up the near side. It is caught by Willie Frazier, the tight end. A fine catch. And out of bounds along the near sideline at the 35. Two minutes left to play in the ball game. Dolphin football action will continue in just a moment. The score are Dolphins 20 and the Chiefs 3. Rick Weaver, Luke Weekmer, and Henry Barrow back at Kansas City, Missouri. The Chiefs, with two minutes to play, have a third and 11 at their four. The Dolphins have this one won by a margin at the present time of 20 to 3. Zonka has 120 yards, and he's picked up 78 yards of them rushing here in this second half. 120 yards on the ground for Larry, the seventh time he's gone over 100 yards in his career. Dawson spreading out, goes back to throw. He has time, fires the middle, Otis Taylor's got it for 50, and he's dropped immediately by Cullen at the Dolphins' 49. They just have not given up that long pass. 18 yards on the pass completion from the Dawson to Otis Taylor. The Dolphins have dominated this ball game. Whether the statistics will show it in all areas remains to be seen, but in most of them, it will be shown. And uh, they played their ball game. Dawson back to throw, getting the rush again. Sets up, he fires, it is caught. 
by Elmo Wright at the 38. Takes off a tackle. Coming back to the near side. He's knocked out at the Dolphins 35. And he is about to, to lose his head. He was clotheslined that time. And that is good for a cheap first down. Down to the Dolphins 35-yard line. We get another timeout called by the Chiefs to stop the clock with one minute and 31 seconds left to play. Second down and 10. Chiefs brawl. The Dolphins 35. Dawson drops the throw. Fires. Little flare pass. Caught by uh, Kenny. The 30 up the far sideline. The 25 takes the tackler. And he's out of bounds at the 13. On the far side of the field. And we get a little pushing and shoving match. A flag is thrown by one of the officials back at the 11. Jake Scott is the man who ran him out. And Scott and Kenny went after each other. On the far side of the field, this is good for a first down, 20-yard gain on the pass completion and run from uh, Dawson to rookie Jeff Kinney, the big back from Nebraska. Now Otis Taylor is jumping all over the official. It's going to be against Kansas City, apparently. A personal foul is the initial indication, and uh, it looks like it might have been called against Otis Taylor. Well, they put the ball down at the Dolphins. 16. Now they pick it up and start to march off the personal foul assessment and it sets it back to the Dolphins 31 yard line. The penalty, of course, stops the clock with 118 to go. Otis has been ejected from the ball game. Henry? I know uh, one of Lou's favorite ball players is Jim Langer, who got his first regular season starting call today. And Langer just came by and said, Wasn't this a whale of a ball game? And we would have to agree with him. Uh, certainly the Dolphins are ecstatic about getting by this one. There was a great deal of apprehension in both camps. Both camps figured this would be the toughest opening game that either could possibly conceive. And it's proven out to be that uh, the Dolphins have won it on defense, on heads-up play. The big question now is, can the Dolphin defense prevent a touchdown? It'll be second down and goal to go from the four-yard line. For accuracy, sake, we'll call it the four. And 14 seconds show on the board. From the four-yard line, second down. Play action, takes the handoff, Dawson, loops the pass, the end zone, all alone, Willie Frazier, he got it for the touchdown. And there goes Warpaint for the second time this afternoon. He is the Indian pony, written by a young man of definite Indian ancestry, and it's the team mascot. So they finally get on the board with nine seconds to play with a touchdown as... Dawson faked right, threw the defense over, and Frazier cutting across. The tight end was wide open. Nobody within 10, 15 yards of him. All he had to do was catch it, and he did. An 80-yard drive, 16 plays. 20 to 10 with nine seconds left to play in the ball game, and that'll be only about enough time to get the kickoff underway. Dolphins had this one won with their defense in the first half, and I know that we can say this 100,000 times, but the assistant coaches do such a fine job. Bill Arnsparger has uh, been concerned about his defense, particularly the pass defense, along with Don Schuler and Mo Scary and Tom Keene. But what a job these coaches did in getting this team ready for this ball game this afternoon. All right, here's the whistle. Center road forward, a low slip kick. Hits uh, an up man. Dick Anderson picked up back at the 14 by Charlie Lee. Or Mercury Morris, the 20, 25, 30, up the near side. He is knocked off his feet at the 40. Fumble the football, and the Chiefs recovers. At the Dolphins, 43, Larry Marshall is the man who got it, but that's the end of the ball game. Mercury Morris is the man who ran it out. A great return by Burke. But as he was hit, he fumbled the football, and the Chiefs recovered, but it is to no avail, and that's the final score. 20 to 10. After you've had a chance to look at much of the film, whether you've uh, changed your opinion on the overall job that your club did. Well, first of all, you have to talk defensively about our football team and the way that they played. Uh, Kansas City's offense through the years has been one of the real good offenses. They had some problems in their final preseason game, didn't score a touchdown uh, against Green Bay, and then they had some problems against us and didn't score uh, until there were only nine seconds left in the game. So defensively, we forced turnovers. We went into the game with the idea of attacking their offense, of being more reckless defensively and trying to make things happen, trying to shake the ball loose, recover fumbles, and come up with some interceptions. We only had two interceptions in preseason, and that was disturbing, but defensively we played well. Offensively in the ball game, we uh, played well when we had to and uh, got the run going, which is uh, one of the things that we wondered what, whether we could do because Kansas City is so strong up front, uh, their front four and their three linebackers.